obviously one assumes the Yankees would have won had Girardi challenged and that the challenge had gone the way that we all assume that it would have is any fan of football definitely knows when you challenge something anything it's like a slot machine you pull the arm you have no idea what's going to come out even though you think you right. see what you see uh, all, all that said h- how did you take the non-challenge from Girardi on Friday night John? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, in the booth, watching the game live, sometimes, look, people forget that, you know, the game moves fast for a lot of people. It's not just players. The managers and the coaches have to make split decisions, and have to make decisions that, that they're either going to not be happy with or be happy with. Uh, and I'm not talking about decisions of who to put in, and when. Those are obvious. Uh, always going to be, you know, second-guessed. And that's part of being a manager today with all the information. But I think as he, he looks back and, and as he talked to us, he said, you know, it, it hurts. He messed up, and it hurts because he's so passionate about everybody. He's not just passionate about his players, the front office, the fans. And I think it's just so easy to pile on. Yes, that was a situation where when you slow everything down and look back and go, I, yeah, I should have challenged regardless of the information I got or didn't get. Um, having said that, you know, the execution – also of a team that has to use its bullpen so much. I've been saying this forever, and the analytical world just turns a deaf deaf ear to it because they don't want want these results. They just want to be able to prove they're right all the time. You can't keep doing this kind of baseball and expect you're going to have fresh arms all the time out of the pen. And they paid a price for winning that game with their starter only going a third. And they will continue to pay a price if their starters don't give you more outings like Tanaka. And their bullpen's fantastic. It's the best collection of arms I've seen in a long time. But you still have to trust and get some work out of your starters because that's what makes Cleveland so good. Yeah, I know. And then CC came out with 77 pitches. And Tanaka, uh, I, I mean, they, I mean, Girardi could have gone to him in the eighth. And he said he, found, he went from being up one nothing with a starter that was lights out to one half third of an inning later, going to his closer for a five-out save. I mean, talk about dealing from a position of strength, making it into weakness. I, I, again, they got out, they got the one nothing win. But what's uh, what's uh, if the rain doesn't arrive? What in the world is Chapman going to look like tonight, John? Yeah, he'll be available for an inning, I would imagine. I okay. mean, you know, they they were from a strength of weakness, no doubt. And the, the problem that managers have today is there's such an overkill of information, like I just mentioned where everybody says, you have to win that game. And there's a little, little bit of a lack of trust to trust that the guy that's on the mound currently is legitimately locked in, and you can't lump him in with the previous innings of statistics. What you hear constantly from everyone in the, in the industry is, the third time around the lineup, these are the averages. Yeah, maybe on norm, but on a given day, you have to trust your eyes at times. I did last night think that was the right decision, however, because of the exertion that Tanaka gave you for the last two innings. He was unbelievable. I've never seen his split with that velocity. So he was literally tapping out and and dominating. So I didn't have a problem with that. There's games in the past that have drove me crazy where you take out a starter and the other team and the other dugout is going, thank you, because there's no guarantees that five more guys that come in the game are going to have their ace up. The more pitchers you pitch per game, the less likelihood they're all going to be on their game. It's like rolling the dice a little bit, even though there's some great arms. So, you know, Cleveland, you saw this last year. Cleveland was, uh, they did an unbelievable job with their pen. They got to the World Series. They had one and a half starters. They ran out of gas. It, was, uh, it became obvious by the seventh game, but they got to the seventh game. The amount of work it's going to take for the Indians to win this series will have its toll. There will be a toll on Chapman tonight. There's no doubt. Joe knows that. But they had to get to tonight. Maybe tonight there'll be a five-run lead. That's what you hope when you're, you're kind of getting through the individual game that the next game will take care of itself. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.